The Elilden is a Welsh species of elf, exactly corresponding to the English willow wisp, the Scandinavian Lichtgube, and the Breton Sand Jan Y Tad. In Welsh, the suffix L indicates a fairy, or more accurately, a fair person. Although that term may sound like a modern revision, it is not. In fact, the word fairy derived from the original fair person that used to describe the Elilden in kind terms, lest one incur its displeasure. The word Dan means fire. Dan also means allure. The compound word suggests alluring elf fire. Like all goblins of this class, the Elilden was, of course, seen dancing about in marshy grounds, into which it led the belated wanderer. But the poor elf is now starved to death, and his breath is taken from him. His light is quenched forever by the improving farmer, who has drained the bog. And instead of the rank decaying vegetation of the autumn, where bitterns and snipes delighted to secrete themselves, crops of corn and potatoes are grown. A poetic account by an ancient character called Iolo the Bard is thus recorded. One night, when the moon had gone down as I was sitting on a hilltop, the Elilden passed by. I followed it into the valley. We crossed plashes of water where the tops of bulrushes peeped above and where the lizards lay silently on the surface, looking at us with an unmoved stare. The frogs sat croaking and swelling their sides, but ceased as they raised a melancholy eye at the Elilden. The wild fowl, sleeping with their heads under their wings, made a low cackle as we went by. A bittern awoke and rose with a scream into the air. I felt the trail of the eels and leeches peering about as I waded through the pools. On a slimy stone, a toad sat sucking poison from the night air. The Elilden glowed bravely in the slumbering vapours. It rose airily over the bushes that drooped in the ooze. When I lingered or stopped, it waited for me but dwindled gradually away to a speck barely perceptible. But as soon as I moved on again, it would shoot up suddenly and glide before. A bat came flying round and round us, flapping its wings heavily. Screech owls stared silently at us with their broad eyes. Snails and worms crawled about. The fine threads of a spider's web gleamed in the light of the Elilden. Suddenly it shot away from me, and in the distance joined a ring of its fellows, who went dancing slowly round and round in a goblin dance which sent me off to sleep.